So we have one mark. Right? Go to mark. Where's we mark? Seven and eighteen. And it's safe unto them. Right? Are ye? So without understanding also. Because the disciples were supposed to know this. Right? Do you not perceive that whatsoever thing from the God enter, entereth into the man? It defile him. Right? So it's the things that enter what? Into your mind. Not so much your flesh. Your mind. Right? And again, you've got to be careful because Christians, Christians will use this and say, well, does that mean you can eat pork? No, 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 no. You can't do that. Right? I've got to throw that out there because Christians will use that scripture to justify eating whatever you want. It's talking about your mind. It's talking about the defilement of the mind. Do you not perceive that whatsoever thing from without entereth into the man, it cannot defile him? Right? Because it entereth not. Right? Into his heart. See? Because it enters not into the mind. So that's not going to defile you. Because it's not entering into your mind. Right? And it says, it cannot defile him. Because it entereth not into the heart, the mind, but into the belly. Right? Fruits, meats, and graft fat into the drop, purging all meats. So in other words, you go to the toilet and you do do it out, right? So that is not going to defile you, right? And he said, that which cometh out of a man, that defileth the man. That what comes out your mouth. That's what defiles you. And it says, For from within, out of the heart of men, proceedeth evil thoughts. Right? That's a defilement. And that's why this world, it operates on a carnal basis. Satan wants you to have you thinking evil, because if he has you thinking evil, he can have you going off. Right? Evil thoughts. Right? Adultery. You commit an adultery. And that's a thought. It begins in your mind first, right? Sleeping with another man's woman, that's adultery, right? That's why really you should always ask the woman, have you got a husband? Are you single? Before you make, before you take that step. Because if you're not, you may be caught up in what? Adultery, right? And but according to the law, that's punishable by death. Right? That's that's why Yahweh Shai is so important. And it says also fornication. Different idols. That's fornication. Right? Falling on different idols. Right? It's spiritual fornication. Right? Murders. Why? Because all these things start in the mind. When someone murders someone, that's started out. You can do that. Okay, just by your thoughts. So everything starts with what? Thoughts, right? That's why you what? We want to guard our minds. First, stealing. When someone steals, that was planned. That was thought out, right? Covetousness. You wanting what belongs to somebody else, right? That's covetous. And you know, you know, you know the scary thing? These spirits are all up in the truth, right? Covetousness. You're seeing your eyes all up in what somebody else has. And you want that, right? That's covetous, okay? And covetous, it ties in with everything we're reading, every, all of these sins, it ties in with that. Because if you're covetous, you would do all these things. You would commit murder. You would commit adultery. You would steal. You would lie. Wicked.
wickedness, okay? Deceit. So these, this is what you don't want to be overcome by, right? Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness is um, over excess, basically, without any restraint, okay? An evil eye, an evil eye, see? Having the evil eye towards your brother, like the spirit of Cain, an evil eye. These things need to be purged out, right? And your Habashai will help you, but you gotta what? Make that step, okay? An evil eye, blasphemy, not believing in the Holy Spirit, that's, that's blasphemy, right? And the scriptures, all sins can be forgiven except the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, right? Blasphemy, right? Okay, and the Lord hates pride, right? Someone that thinks he's shit don't stink. Someone that thinks he can do no wrong. The Lord hates that. We're not here to compete and say, well, you know, this man, he committed this much sins and, and count. You're doing a number check, right? But well, he done this, he, bro. The truth is, was never about that, right? It's about you getting yourself right, right? That, that, that witch hunt, a witch hunt spirit, right? What was you doing before you heard this truth? I can assure you it was something wicked, right? It wasn't something that was good, it was you were going off. Our people, they don't, they don't acknowledge that, right? High-minded. All these pride, foolishness, all these things, all these evils come from within. So all these evils start with the mind. So when you see these things going on, it begins with the mind, right? And then it gets played out through the spirit. All these evil things come from within and they defile a man. That's what makes you unclean. That's what makes you defiled, right? So what else have we got? Bear me just a minute. And this is why it's so important. Understand, understand, understand the law. For you to understand grace, you need to understand the law, right? Very important. Okay. And you have a share first and foremost. Bear me just a minute. So now I hope this gives you a more broad understanding of what was going on when Yahabashah was on the scene. The chief, the chief priests and Pharisees, they couldn't stand Yahabashah, right? They couldn't stand him. They wanted him out of the way. Why do you think they gave him up? Because they had his own thing, they had their own thing going, right? Bear me just a minute. They had their own thing going. go to um James okay it further shows us the, the mentality these scribes these wicked scribes and Pharisees had okay so we're gonna further expound 
go to James. Okay? These men, they never had the truth, they never had faith. And you know what? A lot of them wicked Pharisees and chief priests, they did know who Yahweh was, but it's like what they had a position, so what else could they do? No, they didn't want to let go. Okay? Let's go to James. You know what? We're going to go to James. Like a two. My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Yahweh Shai. The Lord of glory, Yahweh Shai, with respect of persons. Right? And that got respect of persons goes into um you're partial. Where everything you do, you're, you're just partial with it. Right? And a judge can't be like that. You can't be partial in judgment. Just because you know something. Right? For if they come unto you an assembly, a man with a gold ring. Right? So he might be flossing, a man might be flossing a gold ring. Like I've got a ring on right now. Right? A man might be flossing his little gold ring. Okay in goodly apparel, so the man's dressed good. And there come also a poor man in vile raiment. Okay? Vile raiment. In other words, poor clothing. Okay? And you have a special that wearing the gay clothing. Which is what? The nice clothing, because that's what this world does. If someone's dressing good, tells you in Timothy's, they um they think that godliness is um I forgot what it is, gain is what? Godliness? Some men think that. Okay. And I've respect to him that wear gay clo gay clothing is nice clothing. I say to him, and to him. Sit down here in a good place and say to the poor, stand over here or sit here under my footstool. So, you don't want to be in that spirit. You say to the poor, you, you, you sit down there, you, you, you go over there. That's what particular spirit men have in this truth. Right? Under that footstool. And you've got to remember, the chief priests, they were sitting on our, what them high seats. Right? Are you not then partial in yourselves? That's being what respect a person. Okay? And have become judges of evil thoughts. Right? Why? Because you're not equipped with the spirit of Yahweh Shai. You're doing things out of what? Bribery, corruption, and so forth. How can all my beloved brethren have not the most I chosen the poor of this world? Right? Remember, he deals with um, the base things of this world. The things that I look down upon. Right? Rich in faith. You see? But they're rich in faith. And hairs of the kingdom, joint, what? Rulers? Which he had promised to them that love him. But ye have despised the poor. And that's what our people do. Okay? So if you're high upon this society, you have camps everywhere, people praising you, honouring you everywhere. Well, that's not the lot of the true prophets. Because the prophets were hated, the prophets were looked down upon. The prophets were ridiculed. A lot of the prophets, they had to go in hiding, right? So it doesn't match the Pharisees. The Pharisees were on them high seats, doing the judging, right?
that you have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats. He's speaking about the chief priest. Because they had a higher position in society. And they were condemning those who were looking down upon those that didn't really have a position. Because the poor, they don't have no backing. You take a poor man to court, he doesn't have the backing. A rich man, he has backing, he can sue you. And that's what goes on within the society. Right? So that's what the chief priests and Pharisees were doing. Right? And they're all back here again today. On them high seats. But Yahushua's gonna what? Pull them off them high seats. And he's gonna raise up what? The humble in that stead. And the exalted are gonna be brought down. You got any questions? No? Anyways. And it says. But you despise the poor, do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats. Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by which they have called? So they were doing that, blaspheming that name. Yahabashai's name, maybe just a minute. That's what they were doing, right? They were not about Yahabashai. They were not for his cause. Okay? They were against the cause of Yahushua. They were trying to stop this word. They were opposition of it. They were in opposition to Yahushua. So I always say, you got to ask yourself. So, all right, we know this. So where were they? Where were they today? Huh? Where would they be today? Because they, 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 them chief priests, wicked Pharisees, and elders, they have to be somewhere, right? And it says, verse 8, if you fulfill the royal law, it's royal because it's one of the most important laws, right? This, a royal is what? Sacred? This is a sacred law. According to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, thou do, you do well. Easy things that we could apply. Okay? But if you have respect to persons, you commit sin, right? See, yes, that is a sin, right? Teaming up, you like this man, but you're not, you're not going to say anything to him because you know him. That's respect the person. And really, it's, it's corruption. Okay? You commit sin and are convinced of the law as transgressors, because according to the law, that's transgressions, because in the law it tells you you're not supposed to have respect to persons. You're not supposed to wrestle judgment, right? Just because you don't like someone, you're not supposed to wrestle judgment, right? For whosoever shall keep the whole law, okay, yet offend in one point, that's why I don't boast in the law, right? So you got men, they act like they're keeping the whole law, the whole entire law, when they're not. And you break one, one evil thought, one evil thought. That means you've broken the law, right? He is guilty of all, that means you're guilty of breaking all the law, right? But he that said, do not commit adultery, yet if thy kill, okay? And do not kill, now if thou commit no adultery, if I kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. You see? So you might not be doing one. You might say, a man may have the um, mentality, well, um, I never committed as much sins as him, but you still committed sin. A man may have that mentality. That's why you don't want to be high-minded, right? That's why you don't want to be going to other brothers, right? Gossiping, like the Wendy Williams. Well, you remember when he done this uh, a couple years ago? But what about what you done? Okay. Well, he offended me, but what about you? I'm sure you've offended people. You see? That's why we can't be high-minded. So speak ye and do so do, as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. So you're going to be a judge according to what you're putting out. That's why Yahushua says, by the same meat you, you meet shall be measured unto you. 
But the same way you judge, that's going to be what? Judge unto you. you got to be very careful what you're putting out. Right? The vibration you're putting out. Right? Verse 30, for he shall have judgment without mercy that I've shown. No mercy, and mercy rejoice over judgment. Right? Why? Because mercy is more, where there's judgment, mercy is more abounding. Right? And also where there's mercy, there's judgment, but mercy is more abounding. Okay? A lot of our people, they don't have that balance. So they end up becoming what? Wicked. Everything they see around them. Everything they see, they end up what? Condemning. <laughs> Including yourself. Yahabashah yeah, was in that spirit. He was very, um, Yahabashah yeah, was very balanced when he was doing things. Right? And to be upright, to be just, to be righteous actually means to be balanced. Go into Ecclesiastes. Okay. And there's something in Corinthians, but I'm not sure if I can find it. When it talks about not all things are expedient, that's a heavy scripture. Because there are people, things you're doing in your walk in this faith, but it just may, may be holding you back. Right? Because things, there's things we do that are not, bear me just a minute, that are not against the law. Bear me just a minute. Right? Go and check this out quickly. Um, see if I can find it. Bear me just a minute. I know it's somewhere in Corinthians. I can't find it. We move on. We go to Ecclesiastes. find it. Can't find it right now. But the scriptures talk about be not over righteous, over much righteous. Why should I destroy thyself? And be even be not what wicked? Okay. Over much foolish or wicked paraphrasing. Okay. So there's a balance even within the law. Right? Found it. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 16. Be not righteous over much, neither make it thyself over wise. So, what does it mean to be. Um, guess what? When I first came into the, into the truth, I was on that spirit. D didn't want to leave the house much, didn't want to leave, just wanted to, wanted to be um, in the house studying. I'd be on that spirit when brothers would be going out. I'd be in that spirit. No, you have to, you have to study. And then over time, he's like being too over righteous. In other words, can a brother go out to the to the to the um, bars, right? Can he treat himself to um to a, to a mill? Can he go to um a theatre, right? Can he take his children out to that amazement park? Yes. Because that's a balance within this truth. So even within this truth, we want balance as well. Because the Lord, he deals with balance. Right? That's why it says, be not over much righteous. Even in this truth, yes, you also got to find balance. Because if you don't have balance, you're going to end up destroying yourself. Right? You're going to be, you're going to be too over much righteous. You're going to be picking up, when, when a brother's um, in a shopping mall with you, you gotta be looking on the packet. You know? You know? Everything you're gonna be overly scrutinizing. Because we're living in a world where Esau has contaminated the food. 
No, okay. The air's contaminated. The clothes we're wearing and um different fabrics. Sometimes I sometimes I wear different fabrics. And also I've noticed one thing: some jackets it says polyester in the insides, in the in part of the jacket, and the outward of it may say cotton. That's a mix of the fabric. So ESA has done things where it's like impossible not to break the law, right? You're sitting on public transport. How do you know a woman hasn't had her period? And you're sitting on that same seat. That's, that's a breaking of the law. You looked at a woman and she may not have a wedding ring on. You may she think she's single. How do you know she ain't got a husband? You've just broken the law. So there's so much things we go off on and we don't even know. Even chicken, even when you're purchasing some chicken, what has it that they're even covering um, chicken with what? Pork fat. So a lot of things are contaminated. So it's impossible to keep the law 100%. It's impossible. Because it's sent all around us, right? That's why you have a shy so important. Where else was we? And it says, neither make thyself overwise. Right? Why shouldn't thou destroy thyself? Because that can happen. Right? When you're making yourself overwise. And that's something I've really, 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 really had to learn. Okay? Because then. You're just gonna be like, oh, bro brothers have told me this as well. You'd be like the Terminator. <laughs> you, you end up like the Terminator, you know? Hard faced, you know? Everywhere you go, you're just gonna be what? Condemning yourself. There's a balance even within the law. You have to find that balance. That's one thing I'm learning. Especially if you're diligent. If you're diligent, you, you, you even have to find more balance or you bug yourself out you just be saying don't do this don't do that you know that's what sweet you're gonna be in okay be not over much wicked because you obviously you know what that's gonna lead to if you're over much wicked it's gonna lead to what sin therefore it's gonna lead to your death neither be not much foolish you don't want to be too foolish out here and you know what happens to the foolish Okay, why did that die before that time, right? So everything is what balance, right? So let's see what else we got. Hope, 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 brothers and sisters that are listening and learning are being built up and being edified. See what else I got, bam, just a minute. Because we all came out of this, from this world. We were all worked in a position where we never knew. Maybe just a minute. You have to read these letters. All right. Got something. Let's go to Romans. Right? Two. So all these letters, see all these letters, it's based on what? Sin. Going off. Right? Wherefore are the inex inexcusable old man, whosoever thou art that judges, for wherein thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself. But that only happens if you're doing the same thing. Remember these scriptures, it's a two-edged sword, right? These scriptures are a two-edged sword, right? So a lot of the time, you can end up, if you're not careful, you can end up cutting yourself, right? If you're not careful. That's why there's balance, right? And it says, for thou that judges doest the same thing. 
so when we're judging, we always want to make sure we're not doing the same thing when we're judging. Just, just make sure you're not doing whatever you're putting out there, make sure you're not doing it. Because it happens, right? Because that's what the that's what the pharmacies and chief read. That's what they were doing. They were teaching hypocrisy. Right? And it says, thou condemnest thyself, for thou, thou judgest, doest the same thing. Don't be doing it. And I always put this out there as well. Because a lot of men, they like to, um, they want to bring up your past, talk shit. But he was smoking. But has this, has this man stopped? What spirit is he in? What spirit is he in? Has he stopped? Has he repented? Okay. But see, this is the spirit that what the wicked chief priests and Pharisees had. Right? You got men that say that. You weed smoking niggas. Well, what was he doing in the world? What was he doing in the truth? Because guess what? We still go off. Even in the truth, we still go off. But a wicked man's going to fall right into mischief. Right? Be, be, the, the Lord could have it where you be what? Going into these Masonic, sitting outside of Masonic lodges, looking bugged out. Right? Get Going into witchcraft. Right? That's why even when we do for sure, we always got to pray to Yahweh Shai that it gets us back on our feet. But we are sure that judgment of the master is according to the truth against them which commit such things. Right? And it says, And think so this old man that judges them which do such things, and do us the same, thou shalt escape. The judgment of the Most High, the answer is no, right? And that's why, I, one thing I do know, when I go off, when I make mistakes, I'll be the first one to repent to Yahweh by Shem Shai and say, forgive me, you know? Because I, I know the depths of my own mind. I know when I go off. That's called self-examination, which men are not doing that. That's why you got camps of reprobates. Because men, they don't want to examine themselves, but they're forced to examine others. Right? And it says, Or despiseth the riches of his goodness, and forbearance, and the forbearing, forbearance and long-suffering, not knowing that the goodness of the Most High leadeth to repentance. The goodness of the Most High, what the knowledge of his scriptures, it leads to repentance. Right? And that's what the law was for. The law was to bring you to Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's what it was for. Not to beat you down with it, right? That's what it was for. But after the hardness and impotent, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Impenitent, unrepentant, heart, treacherous up unto thyself, wrath. So if you don't repent, if you're on this side and you hear these words and you don't repent, that's when that judgment's going to come. And that applies to all of us, even me, right? And it says, treasure thyself unto it. So a lot of men, they're treasuring up wrath unto themselves. Why? Because they don't want to repent. They're not even making them steps, right? Against that wrath from revelation of the righteous judgment of the Most High. Okay, who will render every, to every man according to his deeds, right? The deeds in the flesh, right? To them who are patient by continuance in well doing to seek for glory and honor, or mortality, eternal life. So that's what we seek: immortality and eternal life through Yahweh Shai, right? This is what we seek. Okay. Verse 8, but unto them that are contentions, contention, I, I don't know if I'm saying it right, contentious, you've got a lot of contentious men in this truth, 
right? So us them that are contentious, cont I don't know if I'm saying it right, contentious, right? And do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness in their indignation and wrath. So that's what's waiting for them, right? Indignation and wrath. Okay? Tribulation, anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil of the Jew first and also the Gentile. Right? But glory, honour, peace to every man that worketh good to the Jew first and also to the Gentiles. Verse 11, for there is no respect of persons with the Most High. Right? And that's it. There's no respect of persons. So with this lesson, I really hope this was edifying. And until the next time, I want to give all honours and praise and glory. It belongs to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Waha, Waka, Quadash. Until the next time, Shalom.